Hey guys, welcome to the video and how to make a 2D platformer game. And in the previous video, we look on how to play movements. And today, we're going to add some animations and uh, camera movements. So let's start. Add animation in Unity is pretty easy. And first, we need to create the animation. Then we need to apply it. So okay, there are very different methods to add animation. So one of the most common ways you, by using sprite seed. Or you can also use, or uh, you can also rig your character. But here we're going to use sprite seed wave. So if you go to your assets and character, you can look. You have a two, uh, maybe you have many sprites of the same character. So if I try to combine them, try to play like this, you can look here. Is try to like create a walk animation. So we need to do this same thing. So actually, I have only two sprites. So maybe you, if you're using another assets, you have multiple sprites. Maybe you have an eye for an eye for ideal for moving, walking, crouching like this. So, so first uh, to add the anim animation, we need two windows: animation window and animator window. Now, first let's go to the window, uh, add the go to animation, and add the animation here. So by with what in which in the with this window we're going to create animation. And we are also going to add animator. So animator going to control how the animation going to play. Let's see. So first I'm going to select the character here, and then here I'm going to press create. It's going to create animation. Then I'm going to create a new folder, and the folder uh, I'm going to rename it. Type animation, and then I'm going to go here and type idle and save. So it's going to create animation file. Now we need to drag the other sprites here. I would like here, but I don't have any idle animation. So I've got. I'm going to do. I am going to do add properties and go to sprite renderer. And if I go to look here, sprite renderer. So actually, we need to change the sprite to add properties sprite, and we need to find the sprite here and then add this property. If you have your own idle sprite, you just need to drag and drop here. Then I'm going to create a new clip. Create new clip. Uh, then I name it move. Just simply move and save it. Next, I'm going to go to character. Select both this sprite and drag and drop here. Then it automatically add both of them. And if I'm going to play, it's going to look it's like to like it's like moving sprites. So I'm going to decrease the sample by twelve. So it's now look like it's some kind of animation. Just I know. Okay, now we need to just play this animation from from our scripts. So first we go to the animator window, and if you look here, we have a one idle animation and one moving. So idle going to be a default animation, and move going to be we going to need to play it when we are moving. So let's click right click here, make transition, and make a transition from here, and then. I right click on the move and make transition to idle. Okay, now if I select this uh, line, if you look, it have some settings here. So I'm going to disable the exit time because we don't need it, and also transition duration to zero. And so it's giving some warning. So we need some uh, parameters here. So I'm going to give the parameter float. I'm going to name it. Uh, move simply. Then, if I going to select this uh, condition, give a plus sign. Automatically add the move parameters here. So I'm going to give a grid. So I want to move the player when the this value is going to be uh, greater than zero point zero one, not zero. Just let me bigger number than zero. And we need to go back to the idle state when we are not moving. So just make the exit time zero and. Make the duration duration to zero, and at this condition, and this time we're going to make it less than. And again, I'm going to give a very small number, not a zero. Okay, now time to play this animation from the scripts. So we go to character and going to open up the movement script. Okay, our script is now open up, and so first we need to get some variables here. I'm going to get down here, just down here. So because we need to reference for the animator, so we can access the animator and then control over the animation. Just name it uh, animator simply. Then I'm going to down here when we are moving. So just below the move direction dot x, 
uh, horizontal where we are taking the inputs just below it I am going to play animator dot uh, set float so it is going to set the float of the state so the parameter we given so our parameter is move and I will name So if you look is the move okay so we need a small small m move and then we need to give some value so I'm uh, here I'm going to give the value um, math apps dot apps so and then we will give the move oh, sorry move direction dot x as a input as a value so when we are moving so when we are pressing the key so if value go one or yet or negative one so because we don't we don't get uh, we don't go to the less number than the zero so we need to first uh, make it positive so if we're going to play the animation and if I go to back to unity drag and drop the animated component to the slot here and scene if I go to go here play the game and try to play it look it's watching playing the animation now you can edit the animation at your own needs and I don't have any gem animation so I'm not going to add this now okay we add animation now time to add the, some camera so again we already have a main camera but it's not going to follow us so we need to program it so it's going to follow us but luckily unity have uh, its own feature for the camera so we go to window and go to package manager and here we're going to go download the sim machine uh, going to install it Okay, now the sim machine is now added, imported correctly. So if you look up here, there's a one more option come up here, sim machine. So if I can right click here, and we need a, we are working for 2D games, so we need 2D camera. So I'm going to click on 2D camera. So it's, now it's automatically created a new game object. So let's I'm going to reset the transform. Now, if I go here, like follow, so we need to follow the players. So I'm going to drag and drop the character to follow here. If I go to game view, and you can do my thing if I'm going to play it started following us okay. and next thing I'm we have a bunch of options given here like if I go go to the game window guide so it's open up a, a guide and if I go to body now, if a bunch of options here, so look at timing, or you can just make look at timing. Now, if you want to change the screen, uh, I mean screen direction because it's actually currently the center of the world. So I wanted to make the screen Y little bit down, something here. I want. So if I go to change the screen Y by 0 0.8, we can still fix in the future videos. Is not. So I recommend you to play around the settings. There are a bunch of settings here. And if I going to play, it's going to play and look started following us. Okay, that's it for this video. And you you can play this around the settings and create more animation. And there are a bunch of tutorials already on the YouTube for on the topic animation and camera. I give some link in the description. And if you like this video, you can like the you can click the like button and click on the subscribe button so you don't miss the upcoming videos on this topic and. You can also check out my Patreon and support me there. Till then, uh, thanks for watching.